Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be doing a little something different because it is officially fall and that means it is officially time for me to wear copper colored eyeshadow more often than anyone ever should. <laughs> and that also means that it is time for decorating. I personally love Halloween. I live for decorating my house at Halloween and Christmas is ridiculous. So I thought I would do a little fall haul and just show you guys the decor that I have picked up so far. So if that is something you're interested in seeing, just go ahead and keep watching. So I thought I would start out with a couple mugs. I collect mugs, like I have a shelf in my dining room full of mugs that I've gotten from different places and for different occasions. So I have a mug problem, it's very safe to say. And more specifically than that, I have recently come down with a Ray Dunn mug problem. Now, if you don't own a Ray Dunn mug, don't buy one. Don't do it. Because you will become obsessed. I'm pretty sure me and my fiance are up to like 12 mugs at this point. Like, I'm currently drinking coffee out of my Stargazer mug and it's got the little stars on the back. Something about a Ray Dunn mug just hits different. Like, I don't know what it is about it. I bought one for everyone in my family for Christmas because they're just different, trust me. So, I have been on the hunt for Halloween Ray Dunn mugs and there are people who buy them and resell them and I talked to the lady at Home Goods, and they said that the people will literally line up outside of Home Goods before they open and buy out every single one. So finding them is ridiculously hard, and I refuse to pay like $30, $40 for the people who resell them. So here's a little message to Ray Dunn resellers. If you see a really cool mug, don't buy them all. Don't clear the shelf, leave some for someone else. Like they have some that are iridescent. <sighs> I live for iridescence. Like, I don't know if you can tell, the flowers are iridescent, the vase is iridescent. I've got Angel Aura iridescent crystals up here. I remodeled my bathroom and the plan was to go very neutral and like gray and white. And somehow I ended up putting iridescent rhinestone accent tiles in my bathroom. Like, I have an iridescence problem, so long story short, I am on the hunt for the perfect Ray Dunn Halloween mug. But until I can find them, I did manage to find this one here, and it is orange on the inside, and it says Morning Pumpkin. So cute. I also found this one that is absolutely adorable. This one says Scaredy Cat, and it is also orange on the inside, but it's a different orange, so yes, I needed both. And if you have seen any of my videos, I am very much a crazy cat lady, so I think this one might be one of my favorites that I have, and trust me, we've got a bunch, so. I grabbed these, and I have also turn my fiance into a Ray Dunn mug collector because we walk into Home Goods, like we will wake up early on my day off and go 20 minutes away to the biggest Home Goods around us just to see what they have. And this man will walk into a Home Goods and be like, oh, we don't have this color. So that's where this one came from. This one says, oh my gourd. So cute, and this one is like a mustardy yellow color, so bottom line, we have a problem. And I'm not done, because I will not rest until I get at least one that says like, Happy Halloween with a pumpkin on it. So, there are the mugs. So I haven't had too much luck finding Ray Dunn Halloween mugs, but I did find these absolutely adorable little cat dishes. This one here says wicked cute and it's got a little pumpkin inside. And I also got this bigger one. I'm pretty sure this is for a dog cause like it's pretty big, but 
I bought this one and I planned on putting water in it for my cats. And then I kind of looked at it and I'm like, I can't give this to the cats. So I'm probably just gonna put candy in this or something. I don't really eat candy like that, but I'll probably just put this one on display. I do actually plan on giving this one to the cats, but I don't know if I'll have the heart to do it, so. And all this stuff is pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure the mugs are like five bucks, and this one here was $3.99, and this one was maybe $7 or something like that. And I also got one other Ray Dunn item. I saw this one on Instagram, and I was like, I need it. And we walked into Home Goods early in the morning, and it was just there waiting for me. So these are two little books with a little witch hat on top, and it does have that like metallic finish to it. It's black, but it's like blue at the same time. I love this. I'm definitely going to put this on my mantle. They have a few other colors that I've seen on Instagram, but I love it. I'm so happy I found this. And this was only 20 bucks. I was definitely expecting it to be like 40. So when I saw it and I saw that it was only 20, I was not leaving there without it. So, and this thing is huge. Like it's bigger than my head. So love this. So happy I got my hands on this. And all of these Ray Dunn items came from Home Goods. I believe they also have them at like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, maybe Burlington, but I haven't had too much luck finding Ray Dunn stuff at those other stores. So Home Goods is definitely the place to go if you are hunting for some Ray Dunn. And you know, I don't even I don't even get it. All she did was pick a font and write on stuff. Why is it so addicting? I don't know, but I'm hooked. So that is it for my Ray Dunn items. So next, I did grab a few things from Bath & Body Works. I also saw this on Instagram and I like needed it in my life. I actually placed an order online and they canceled it out of my order because it was out of stock and I was shocked to find it at a store close to my house. Like I just went in there one morning like, you know, maybe they have it. And they had a couple, so I did pick up this beautiful candle holder. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can tell the wings are glittery. It's so pretty. I love this. I, I love this so much. And it's huge, it's pretty big. Let me grab a candle. So it is raised up in the inside, so the candle will sit up out of it like that. I also have a candle holder problem. Now, usually it's a snowflake candle holder, but I, I look at it. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? So this one was $35. It was a little pricey, but I mean, Come on, how can you say no to this face? And I believe they also had a little like soap, like little pumps of the Bath & Body Works soap. They also had a holder for those, but I needed it. I needed it, it's so cute. And I also grabbed from Bath & Body Works two of these little hand sanitizer holders. You just pop the little hand sanitizers in the bottom. It's a pumpkin spice latte. Like, and it's a little candy corn. Come on, come on. These are adorable. So the candy corn was $4 and the pumpkin spice latte was $6. These are so cute. I don't carry a purse, but if I did, I would a thousand percent hang this off of my purse with hand sanitizer in it. I think these are adorable. So next, I did pick up a few items from the dollar store. Don't sleep on a dollar store. They have some cute stuff sometimes. So I got two of these little sparkly pumpkins. Now, if you know anything about my decor collection, you will know that these are the last things on earth that I need. I have so many little sparkly pumpkins it doesn't even make sense but i literally sprinkle them all over my house 
Like I have a wall to wall mantle in my living room and I cover it in pumpkins. So, you know, what's a couple more? They were only a dollar. And I also picked up these two really cute little wooden signs. This one says, tis the season to be spooky and it's sparkly. And this one says a spooky witch and her boo haunt here. Like, come on, how cute are these? And I have a little like buffet style table in my dining room and I have my Keurig up there. Like it's my little coffee bar and I decorate that whole thing too. So I thought these would be absolutely adorable to put up there. And again, they were only a dollar. So what's the harm? So. I have a glass pumpkin problem. I've got a lot of problems. Huh. <laughs> but anyways, I love glass pumpkins and this was actually my first Halloween purchase this year. I think I bought this back in like August. I got this one from at home and it is like solid glass. This thing is heavy and it's got that like oil slick iridescent kind of coating on the top of it and it's kind of that same like blue almost black color from the Ray Dunn book with the hats so I love this there was only a couple there when I went at home put their Halloween stuff out super early they were the first ones I saw to have Halloween I saw this and there was only like two or three so I'm like no I need this this comes home with me today so this one was only 15 bucks. At Home is a great place to pick up these like glass pumpkins. I don't know where I'm gonna put these because I always do my living room like traditional black and orange. I love how I said always. I've literally only decorated my living room one year because I moved in right before Christmas. So last year was my first year decorating, but my living room will be traditional black and orange, and this is kind of blue, so I'm thinking maybe in here. I'm of course gonna switch out all these decorations back here for Halloween, but I have to go get my other stuff out the attic, and there's currently a raccoon living rent-free up there, and I should have made him sign a lease because now I can't get rid of him. So whenever I feel like squaring up with the raccoon in my attic, I'll go get the rest of my decorations and switch all this stuff out, but maybe I'll keep these colors in this room. I'm not sure yet, but this one was my first purchase of the season. Okay, so maybe I won't do those colors in here because I just remembered that I bought this pumpkin specifically for this room. I saw this and I'm like, listen, this could not be any more perfect for the beauty room. It is iridescent. I don't know if you can tell it's got that iridescent coating on it. I don't love that the stem is gold. I absolutely hate gold decor. Like everything in my house is silver, chrome, mirrored, no gold anywhere. So don't love the gold stem, but maybe I'll cover it up with something. So this one is perfect for my beauty room. And this one I also got at Home Goods, and it was... $12.99 and last but not least I have one more glass pumpkin and guys she's beautiful look at this pumpkin I don't know how well you can tell but this one is also iridescent like I said I need a 12-step program this is stunning this is so pretty I'm trying to capture the iridescence on it. This is gorgeous. And this one actually lights up. This one might have to go in my background as well. I have a couple other iridescent pumpkins, so I don't know how exactly I'm going to set this up yet. Maybe I'll do like a little decorate with me kind of vlog style video. So maybe I should go grab some batteries and see what it looks like lit up. I'll be back. So here she is all lit up. I don't know if you can tell, maybe if I dim my light a little bit. All right, I turned my ring light off. So here it is all lit up. It is 
absolutely beautiful. The camera is not doing it justice whatsoever. You can definitely see how rainbowy and iridescent it is when it's lit up. I love it. So this one might for sure have to go in my background because look how, look how perfect that looks. And this one I actually got from Marshalls, but I have seen this exact one at HomeGoods. So I think it was maybe $20. And I'm pretty sure they have the same pumpkin in like a blue, like a light sky blue with the iridescent on it, if I'm not mistaken. So definitely check HomeGoods if you are interested in this one and you can't find it at Marshalls because HomeGoods had a bunch. So there is my last pumpkin. So those are all the fall slash Halloween decorations I have picked up so far. I'm pretty sure that I'm not done for the season. I know I'll buy more stuff. So maybe if you guys enjoy this video, I'll do another one when I buy some more stuff. And maybe I will also do a little decorate with me video when I change all this stuff out and when I decorate my living room. So let me know if you're interested in that. And if you enjoyed this video, I hope that you would consider liking, subscribing, and coming back for some more content. Bye.